Welcome. On the request of many of the aspirants, we'll be starting a weekly map location class. Uh, we'll be continuing this class till uh, the UPSC mains this year. That's December 2016. And uh, what we will be covering here is mainly the contemporary topics with few other uh, important map locations that you must know. So it would be a kind of mix of contemporary topics and regular topics, but will be highly focusing on the contemporary locations. Now the first location, so in every class we will cover 20 locations. So the first location for today is Aurangabad. Now Aurangabad was in news recently for the national facility for uh, airborne research program and Aurangabad is located in Maharashtra. So this would be the location for Aurangabad and uh, under the description you can mention the recent initiative that has been released. Now the next is Krishnanala forest. Now, uh, before we understand this, let's understand the structure of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So, under Andaman and Nicobar Island group, you would have the Andaman group and the Nicobar group. Andaman group, you would start with North Andaman, Middle Andaman, South Andaman and then finally you will have Little Andaman. Under Nicobar, you will start with Kar Nicobar, then you would have Little Nicobar and finally Great Nicobar. So these are the major island groups of Andaman and Nicobar. Now Krishnanala forest is located in Little Andaman. So you would have the lowermost in the Andaman series would be the Little Andaman island and this forest is known for the recent discovery of uh, the different species of banana the uh, banana with orange pulp that was asked in the UPSC prelims this year as well. So this is the location for Krishnanala forest. Now the next important location is the South Riva Basin. South Riva Basin covers the region of Madhya Pradesh, uh, Chhattisgarh and parts of Odisha and this has recently been one of the major shale, shale gas potential regions of India. So under the major shale gas potential regions you have two major regions that were identified. So first is the South Riva Basin and the next is the Kambe Basin in Gujarat. So these two are again important from examination perspective. So both the regions we have here. Next is Vidarbha. Now the next five we would be talking about are kind of conventional uh, ones but they are important indeed. So you have Vidarbha region. So Vidarbha region includes parts of um, Nagpur and Amravati located in Maharashtra region. The next is Bundelkhand. Bundelkhand lies in northern Madhya, Madhya Pradesh region. It covers mainly uh, the, uh, the major tourist destination here is Khajuraho. Towards the north you have Indo-Gangetic Plains, towards the south you have Vindhyan Plains and towards the east you have the Bagelkhand which borders it. So the next is Bagelkhand. So towards the east that borders is Bagelkhand. Now Bagelkhand is uh, covering two regions that is the parts of Madhya Pradesh and western parts of uh, the, south, uh, the southwestern parts of Uttar Pradesh. So these are the major two areas that are covered under Bagelkhand region. Uh, major regions uh, here in MP would be Reva, Shadol and in uh, Uttar Pradesh it would mainly cover Singruli and Chitrakoot. The next is Rayalseema. Rayalseema is a region uh, which forms with the four, four districts of Andhra Pradesh. The four districts are Anandpur, Chittor, Kadapa and you have Kurnul. So these four districts together make the Rayalseema region. This region is mainly drought prone but is very rich in minerals. So these are the few famous map locations that you must know from the conventional point of view. Now moving back to all the contemporary topics once again. So you have Jalor. Now Jalor was in news recently because Jalor is being discovered with the possibility to develop the first artificial inland port and this port has an idea to bring waters from Arabian Sea through Gujarat to the regions of Raj Rajasthan. So it's the first artificial inland port in the state of Rajasthan that's Jalor. Next you have Majuli. Majuli has been discovered as the first island district and this first island district lies in Arunachal Pradesh. It's on the river uh, on the river Brahmaputra and this Majuli island is home to one of the famous tribes which are Mishing. So it's home to Mishing tribes. Next is Lavasa. Lavasa is one of the very famous plant cities of India. It's, it lies near Pune in Maharashtra and it has been asked in 
uh, the map location questions two and three times in UPSC. So it has been a very important topic since then. Next, you have Kanchenjunga National Park. Now, Kanchenjunga National Park is located in Sikkim. It has been recently uh, covered under the UNESCO heritage sites. So, it is important from the perspective of uh, contemporary GS again. So, Kanchenjunga National Park lies in Sikkim. Next is the Inyam. We have already discussed this under the Sagarmala Yojana. So, it is one of the very famous ports that has been proposed to be released. And uh, this would be located near the Kolachal port in uh, the Kolachal in Tamil Nadu. So, again, an important topic from uh, this year's examination perspective. Next is Kamrup. Now, Kamrup is a metropolitan district of Assam, and this district has declared uh, the Gangetic dolphin as the city animal of Gohati. So, Kamrup was in news again recently. Then you have Gangavati. Gangavati is known for the Asia's first rice technology park that has been established. So, you have the Asia's first rice technology park that has been established in Gangavati. Gangavati lies in Kopal district in Karnataka region. Next, uh, next location is Kachabali village. Kachabali village is located in Bhim Tehsil of Rajasthan. It is known for its uh, kind of liquor free tribe and in 2016 it became the first village in Rajasthan to be declared as liquor free. So that is Kachabali village in Bhim Tehsil. Next you have Rishikesh and Haridwar. Now the Union Tourism Ministry has proposed that Rishikesh and Haridwar should be declared as the twin national heritage cities of India. So, they are under the tourism map of India and they are planned to be declared as a twin national heritage cities of India. So, these are the location of Rishike, this is the location of Rishikesh and Haridwar in Uttarakhand. Next is Lipu Lake Pass. Lipu Lake Pass is located in Uttarakhand and then you have another pass that is Nathula Pass in uh, Sikkim. Both of these were in news recently because this Lipu Lake Pass got destroyed in the 2013 Uttarakhand floods that appeared. As a result of the devastation of this pass, uh, the yatra that takes place for the Mansarovar <coughs> was stopped through this path and now has been redirected through the Nathula Pass. So both of the passes have come in news recently and are important. So Lipu Lake Pass in Uttarakhand devastated under the uh, Uttarakhand floods in 2013. As a result, this path was closed for the Mansarovar Yatra and the new path that is the Nathula path was opened that is located in Sikkim. And finally, you have uh, the last location for today that is Chanduli. Now, Chanduli is a village in Alwar that lies in the India region and you have this village which was under the Digital India Drive and it became the first village of Rajasthan to receive a kind of internet center and uh, a kind of a minority village which was digitized for the first time. So Chandoli is located near Alwar in Rajasthan is again important. So with this we cover the major 20 locations for today. We will be covering the next 20 locations in the next week's class. Uh, I have also been receiving test series response from many of the students. Some of you are writing really well. But I wish that you send in your responses as and as you complete so that I have ample time to correct those and evaluate those and give you appropriate feedback. Rather than waiting for the last moment close to the examination, it's better if you keep on sending your test uh, responses as and when you finish with the papers. Have a good day ahead.